All right, so here's here's another awesome. We've been getting a lot of pretty amazing videos, and and this one is no exception. So this is a spoken word, almost like slam poetry style uh, video about our patriarchal society. Patriarchy, so patriarchy is oppressing me. Into a bar. And he sits down next to a girl and he says, stand up, sit down, sit up straight, stick your chest out, but not too much. Sit straighter, cross your legs, no, at the ankles, uncross your arms, smile. Come on, man. Why are you so uptight? Be taller, be smaller, bigger boobs, longer legs, bigger butt, longer hair, but no, not where it's not supposed to be. Be thinner, be thinner, be thinner. Dude, why are you so stressed all the time? Chill. Yeah. Talk to me about sports, but still be feminine. Talk Touches to me, me but right don't there. disagree with me. Cover up your body, but still sleep with me whenever I ask. Lower cut shirt, pull up your shirt, shorter shorts, longer shorts. No, I don't want to see your butt. Only if you're good looking. Wear heels, don't wear heels. Gosh, you wore that. No wonder you were raped. Yeah, guys, man, uh, listen up here, man. This girl, she's laying down the, the, the ways you women folk need to be acting if you want us men folk to be respecting you and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you got a problem with a woman, I'll tell you what you do. You walk up to that woman and say, Bitch, make me a sandwich. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. And that bitch don't make you a sandwich. You got yourself a conniving-ass bitch, dog. You just drop that <laughs> bitch off at the corner. You don't need that shit. You don't need that shit, dog. That bitch be fucking tripping. She be playing you like a cheap fiddle, bitch. Man, if you only got one woman, you got a serious problem in your life. Yeah, man. Well, some guys is ugly as shit, dog. Can't even get no pussy, man. It's, it's funny she brings up the thing about men criticizing women's fashion. Like, you know, the shirt yeah, and the shoes. I usually hear women criticizing other women's fashion way more yeah, often. Yeah, like, I don't give a shit. I, I like the show with, like, these, these guys really tell, just telling these girls everything. Do this, do that, do that, do that, you know, like, and she's, like, listing all these things. Like, I haven't met many guys like that. I'm sure maybe some are, you know, but they're few and far between. I mean, I, I can only speak for myself when I say, like, I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm not going to try to impose no standards on you. Like, even if I think you're fucking ugly as shit, which I could think of any goddamn <laughs> buddy, whether they be men or women... It's like, I don't care. You have a right that's, to be yeah, ugly and dress how you want and behave yeah, like you business. want and every goddamn thing else. As long as you ain't fucking with me, I don't give a shit. That's most people, I believe. Honestly. I mean, I think most people just kind of have that attitude of like, I don't give a f You don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Just do what yeah, you want. I do what I want. Me. You're not going to fuck with my Mind name. your own fucking business. The end. Hey, try and have a good time. Don't push me into marriage, but have my babies, okay? Be observant so you can know what I want, but don't notice when I work late every day because I'm having an affair with my secretary. What? Don't be shallow, but be pretty. Don't care so much about being skinny. Ew, fat chicks. Don't care so much about makeup. Excuse me, you look like you're dying. Don't care so much about shopping and nail polish. Ew, butch lesbian feminazis. Be more feminine. Bro. Take a chill pill. Man, this really just highlights how, like, women, it's like they just can't live up to society's expectations, man. Yeah. Because it's like they get all these contradictory messages. I see Hey, that. you know why you get contradictory messages? Because there's different people with different fucking opinions, and you don't have to listen to any yeah. of them because you can just do what the fuck you want to do. I like, I like how she said, ooh, fat chicks. You know, honestly... I've known plenty of guys that like fat yeah, girls. And so Look, just go to a fucking porn site. You see how many fat girl porn videos there are out there? If there were no, if no guys wanted to fuck fat girls, they would just be evolutionarily gone. There'd be no <laughs> fat girls anymore. It wouldn't even exist. <clears throat> but they do. It's just so typical of like these people that have these like extreme views, uh, like like you know they like, you know extremely rigid views. I would say where it's like they see the world in a certain way, and it's like, well, why do people say all these different things? It's like why can't you know, they just accept women for who they are? It's like well, everyone's gonna have different ideas and different expectations in the world, and obviously they're gonna push that on other people. Yeah, it, it, here's an example. Like uh, one day, me and Scotty and TJ were watching a commercial, and there was a chick that me and Scotty thought was hot. And TJ looked at it like, nope. Yeah. Like, you guys are garbage. Yeah, yeah. We're like, all right, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I mean, like, it, it just seems like, what, we're all just supposed to have this, like, consensus of, like, we yeah, will not judge any. No man will judge any feature of any woman at any time because that could potentially be problematic and pressuring her into doing things that she yeah, doesn't necessarily they, want to do. this sanitized, generic, homogenized view of the world. And it's like, oh, men don't have any fucking image shit? I mean, come on. 
It's just, Not I mean, like, it just gets silly. Like, like what, what about when we turn on TV and it's like, hair club for men? Like, yeah, get your fucking, you, you, you going bald? Wait, do you have enough testosterone? You know, it's like there's so many, like, of course there's, like, our culture tries to pump insecurities in us because, really, they're not pumping them into us. They're exploiting insecurities that already fucking exist. Yeah, for, for personal gain and profit. You know, but, I mean, like, just because people have preferences and voice them doesn't mean that you're under some obligation to live up to those expectations. No, TJ, women are under siege. Part of being an adult is actually dealing with other people's perspectives of how you should be and realizing when to take a stand and when to fucking yield. And that's entirely up to you. It's not up to the other person to not to just drop their standard because you feel, like, pressured by it. It's absurd and ridiculous, and you're selfish and moronic. The end. Whiter teeth, buy my product healthier hair, buy my product look younger, buy my product smaller waist, tanner legs, nicer nails, clearer skin, buy my product better hidden periods, god forbid someone notice, buy my product pink tools, so you don't see masculine when you fix the kitchen sink, buy my product, clean the floor, Cinderella, sweep the chimney, Cinderella, make me a sandwich, Cinderella, women are equal, you yeah, bitch, make me a fucking sandwich now, <laughs> if I see any mustard on that sm sandwich, I'm gonna smack you up, bitch. And she brings it by. It's like, bitch, I said extra mustard. What? I said no mayonnaise. I don't understand the whole buy my product thing. I think she's just talking about like women buy all these products and to be consumer feminine. culture. Like, oh, the, the, these these products market to women's insecurities. And we just talked about like the men's insecurities okay. are marketed to as well. If Monica bought a pink hammer, I would look at her like she was so ridiculous. I just like, like I'd be like, <clears throat> buy a regular fucking hammer, you know? Like I don't understand this thing where it's like women have to, you know, everything has to be pink or they're or masculine. Well, it's that's like, oppressive, Scotty. Because what if she wants a pink hammer? Well, if she fucking wants one, she's wasting. You're money. oppressing that's, her, looks terrible, Scotty. Man. I don't want it. Quit having expectations. You're no, sick. Fuck you. You're no, deranged. The, the pink hammer only exists because of patriarchal society trying to push gender roles onto women. Probably exists for fucking that stupid. Uh, what is it? Uh, that fucking breast cancer association that doesn't really give that much money to it. Uh, like the Mary Susan Komen. Susan 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 G Komen. Yeah, it's a cancer foundation. That's probably why it exists. <laughs> Buy it now, okay? Thanks. It actually does fund cancer joke. research, by the a way. It funds awareness. Uh, 